وقال البلاء من قوم فرعون and so said the chiefs from the nation of فرعون اتذر موسى وقومه ليفسدوا في الارض will you allow Moses and his nation and his people Bani Israel to make mischief in the land wa yazaraka wa alihataka and leave you and your gods they wanted that a stern action should be taken against Moses before it becomes uncontrollable so they nip the evil in the bud that was the advice of the chiefs of of the nation of Firaq but please note here This Fir'aun who was now ruling Egypt was just like a younger brother to Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. When Hazrat Musa alayhi salam in his infancy, he had come to the palace of Fir'aun. That we will read inshallah in Surah Al-Qasas, you know. When the mother gave birth to him. And then because the command was that any male child born to any Israeli woman must be put to death. So when, you know, she feared that people will come and take him away and kill him allah subhanahu wa taala inspired her you put him in a box and put the box in nile in the river we shall return him to you that that is our promise that was the inspiration that allah gave to the mother of moses and now this box you know reached the palace and he he was taken out the the king at that time was the father of the king who was now reigning and he was with, without any child issueless his wife you know and he was from the israelites wife it is mentioned you know in quran in surah at tahrim imrat of firaun and she saved the life they had recognized that this is an israeli child but because he was issueless she said okay we shall keep him we shall take him we adopt him as a son and somehow allah subhanahu wa taala put some you know mercy in the heart of that firaun and he was saved now he was brought up in the palace of firaun after some time that firaun also get a son, got a son so now these two were brought up like brothers moses was as if a, an older brother elder brother of this firaun and now that firaun the older one the father of this one when he had grown old he abdicated the throne just as king fahd you know he has handed over the authority to prince abdullah so he had given you know the authority and now he was the reigning emperor now and he loved hazrat musa he didn't want to kill them kill him and now the chiefs were saying atazaru musa wa qaumahu li yufsidu fil ard you will give them the license you will keep them safe are you going to leave them alone so that they they produce mischief in the land because what they were doing according to their interest vested interest it was a mischief and tazara and they leave and forsake you and your lords he said no no we shall kill all their male offsprings what they will be able to do what harm they will be able to do to us that you know they will be reduced we shall be keeping alive only the women we are very much in control over them they can't pose a threat to us don't fear qala musa li qaumi istainu billahi wasbiru now for the first time you know when the, he he had seen a vision and he had given the command that any male child when when musa was born at that time also any male child born to an israeli woman must be put to death again the same you know order ordinance was issued قال موسى لقومه and Musa said to his people استعينوا بالله واصبروا now you call the help of Allah and have patience you must have forbearance it's a trial from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in al ardh lillah this earth this land belongs to Allah yuri sahaba yashab ni badihi he makes it to inherit anyone whom he likes if he has decided that he is giving this time and despite to firaun and this nation okay what can we do except to accept what he has decided and to have patience wal aqibatu lil muttaqin but surely the end result will be for the pious people who believe in him who have taqwa but these things you know ups and downs come to the people 
but the end especially the hereafter that is reserved the good of the hereafter is reserved for those who believe qalu uzina min qabl an taatiyana min wa min baad ma jaitana they said oh moses oh musa we were persecuted before you came to us and we are still being persecuted when you have come to us so that was you know their feelings uzina min qabl an taatiyana wa min baad ma jaitana the same persecutions are coming to us our male offspring is being put to death only the females kept alive qala asa rabbukum an yuhlika aduwakum he said it's just possible we must hope for it that your lord destroys your enemy wa yastakhlifakum fil ard and then he gives you the rule of the earth he makes you the vice students on earth فَيَنظُرَ كَيْفَ تَعْمَلُونَ Then he will see what you do. This ayah is very important regarding the history of the subcontinent, Indian subcontinent. We, the Muslims, were fearing Hindu majority. And we prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, just give us freedom and just save us from the Britishers as well as deliver us from the threatening slavery to the Hindus. and we shall establish your deen and we shall you know make your kalima supreme but allah subhanahu wa taala gave us pakistan it was a miracle nobody could hope that pakistan would be established even a few months before the establishment of pakistan it was because we had promised to allah subhanahu wa taala we shall make your deen supreme over that land if you grant us pakistan now allah granted فَيَنظُرَ كَيْفَ تَعْمَلُونَ Now he will see how you behave. Whether you fall back on your words and promises or you fulfill the promise. And we fail to fulfill the promise. That is why the beating came to us in the form of the incident of 1971. What happened? How many Muslims Pakistani killed? How many of them? 93,000 of them became captives with Hindus. POWs, 43 regular troops, 43,000 taken captive. So all that was actually the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When a nation makes a promise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then goes back on the promise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a Muslim nation, if he makes a promise, Allah fulfills the promise, but then, وَعَفُوا بِعَهْدِكُمْ اِقُوا فِي بِعَهْدِ Now you must also fulfill your part of the agreement and covenant and if you don't well you are punished and we are being punished even today wala qad khasna ala fir'aun bis sinin the same rule when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a messenger to any people now there were coming to them the distresses different types of inflictions smaller inflictions before the final extermination wala qad khasna ala fir'aun and we seized the nation of fir'aun bis sinina years of drought no rain coming wa naqsi min as-samarat and the dearth of you know fruits and crops la'allahum yazakkarun so that they might be they minded they might feel admonished fa iza ja'atum al-hasana qalu lana hadhi whenever something good came to them they said this is ours we deserve it qalu lana hadhi wa in tusibhum sayyiatun and whenever there some calamity befell them they used to attribute it to the evil omens of Musa and those who were with him. Allah, listen, behold, their bad omens are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever comes to them comes from Allah with his permission. But most of them don't know these things, the realities of this universe. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات وذكر الحكيم